Men's basketball coach Barry Rollick, uh, best looking interim coach since, well, nobody. Yeah, ever. So um, we're here with the coach. Second half of the season coming up. You guys are ranked third in the country. Tell us about your strong play in the first half of the season. Well, we've been certainly scoring the ball pretty well, at, you know, at a pretty good rate. I think we're number one in the country in terms of scoring right now. Uh, defensively, we've got some work to do, so we've been sort of trying to concentrate on, on that aspect of things. And if we can get that in order, I think we're going to be pretty tough to beat. Obviously, you're coming off the high of the record, team record for points there this past weekend. Uh, big, big achievement. Uh, going into next weekend, I guess, what are you focusing on and what is sort of going to be the, the momentum builder coming into the stretch? Well, you know, philosophically, we've always sort of said, let's, let's try and build on our strengths. And one of our strengths, I think, is our rebounding. And we, we kind of pride ourselves in our toughness there. So we want to continue to try and rebound the ball well. And, uh, as I said, again, we've got to try to focus defensively on what we're doing. Um, Start at the beginning of the season, uh, there were a lot of new faces. Um, we were wondering uh, what would the character be like? Um, how would the team chemistry look? Um, first half of the season, um, tell us what you've seen so far. Uh, great bunch of guys to work with. Really, really uh, eager to learn. They're very excited about uh, you know, learning the game. and. and and you know we've had a lot of good times out on the road too. I think they're just kind of guys that like to have some fun, and you know that in itself has brought kind of a relaxed mood to things. And I think that's important for us in terms of our performance. Uh, they say players take a lot from the coaches, and I know a lot of the guys uh, from uh, Coach Jockums uh, took his sense of fashion, and that was one of the things sort of he instilled in them. You, on the other hand, you have been instilling something far more valuable. Uh, you know your sense of humor. <laughs> You're a big time prankster. If there's one person maybe on the team who rivals your sense of humor, who, who do you think that would be? Uh, beyond question, it would have to be Michael Leifers. Really? Yeah. He's, he's well, we call him Kramer for a reason, okay? And a lot <laughs> of times his, his sense of humor isn't really intended, uh, but it kind of comes out that way, so. Yeah. Maybe like the bathroom incident of 2010. Yeah. Hey, you know, know the, f the funniest people are unintentional and that's, uh, Probably why people laugh at me and Bryce. You know, we were just born this way. <laughs> Good luck in the second half of the season here, Coach, and uh, we look forward to watching you. Thanks, fellas. <laughs> All right, we're here with Lisa, who's uh, just sort of remarked that if there was going to be two good-looking people in the shot, it would have to be our cameraman, Jay, interviewing her because he's much more handsome than both of us. So thanks for noticing that right off the bat. Me and Bryce are both feeling pretty good now. Uh, probably not as good as you guys are feeling though because you guys are playing terrific basketball in the first half of the season. Thanks. What are you rolling into here? What's going what's to keep the momentum going, building towards another playoff drive? Yeah, well, hopefully we keep improving. We're playing some difficult opponents here coming up. So, I mean, we need to improve upon our performance from last weekend, but I think we're certainly capable of that. I think the the girls are starting to hit their stride a little bit and feeling good about what we're doing offensively and hopefully defensively we can continue to lock down. Um, number one, a lot of things come to mind uh, when one says, number one, you guys are number one in the nation. Uh, maybe what expectations uh, come with this ranking? Um, well, honestly, there's no different expectations than prior to us being ranked number one. And again, that's just an opinion poll. So it really doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot for us. Um, you know, we just, again, want to be playing our best basketball next month, and we want to be number one in March, not in January. So um, just improving every day and, and, you know, playing better each weekend. Do you have, I guess, any players who maybe coming into the second half of the season are going to have to step up their play or maybe take on a new role, depending on how the team is coming around? I think for sure Marcy Kisilek, like she went down, she had a stress fracture, so she's able to commission for all of December. So with her coming back and sort of getting reintegrated into things, I think she's really going to help us. Jana's been playing much better since the Christmas break. And, uh, you know, teams are really going to key on Kim and Jill and Katie, and they've really been carrying the load offensively. So if we can get our bigs going and some people off the bench, then I think that's really going to help us. Awesome. Well, as always, uh, this has been the most enjoyable it's five minutes my of my pleasure. week. My pleasure completely, guys. No, Thanks so much. I've been looking forward to this all week. week. Well, well, we'll be there this weekend to check them out, and you guys should all make sure you check out the games this weekend as well. It's Six o'clock at the back.